Meanwhile, Tesla has said that it is recalling more than 362,000 vehicles after U.S. regulators said that its full self-driving driver assistance system could actually result in crashes in real time. And that its software actually allows the vehicles to even exceed speed limits. Our next board gets more details. Tesla says it's recalling 362,000 vehicles after U.S. regulators said on Thursday that its full self-driving driver assistance system could cause crashes. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration said the Tesla software allows a vehicle to exceed speed limits or travel through intersections in an unlawful or unpredictable manner, increasing the risk of a crash. Tesla will release an over-the-air software update free of charge, and the electric vehicle maker said it's not aware of any injuries or deaths that may be related to the recall issue. This is a fresh setback for Tesla's driver assistance system, which faces growing regulatory and public scrutiny. Chief executive Elon Musk has repeatedly missed his own targets to achieve self-driving capability, which he has touted as a potential cash cow. While Tesla's autopilot feature assists with steering, accelerating, and braking, the company says its full self-driving feature is a more advanced system that is, quote, designed to provide more active guidance and assisted driving, though still requiring the driver's attention. U.S. Senators Ed Markey and Richard Blumenthal, both the Democrats, said the recall was long overdue, adding Tesla must finally stop overstating the real capabilities of its vehicles. The electric car maker could not be reached for comment. But Musk tweeted on Thursday that the word recall for an over-the-air software update is anachronistic and just flat wrong. Tesla shares, which have been on a tear so far in 2023, closed lower on the day. Now, reacting to the news, many Tesla drivers have welcomed the company's move to recall nearly about 362,000 cars over full self-driving software. No, I hadn't heard about it. But obviously, when you're innovating, there's going to be hits and misses, and you're going to go back to the shop to try to improve things. So all in all, it's probably a good idea, and they'll just do another iteration, and it'll continue to get better and better. Around construction, it's not good. You know, if it's a, a pretty standard road, it's actually very good. But you get into a situation where it's a little bit um, not as uh, refined where you're driving, it's not great. Uh, it's not surprising, just something that's probably more safe until it's completely secure and, and safe to get on the road. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.